Okay, so let's find dy dx using implicit differentiation. And I'm going to assume that you're actually somewhat familiar with implicit differentiation. If not, I'd recommend that you watch the video anyways, see if it makes sense, then check out more videos right here. So without further ado, let's get started. To get started, of course, I'm going to just take d dx of both sides of the equation. And this means basically that we're just, for whoever's not familiar with d dx notation, Leibniz notation, we are just deriving both sides of the equation with respect to x. So this means that we're going to differentiate every single element with respect to x. So d dx of x squared plus d dx of x y minus d dx of 9. Note that I can basically take the this minus outside here, right? Equals d dx of 0. Now, the derivative with respect to x of any constant is actually just 0. Anyway, so the deriv derivative of 0 with respect to x is 0. Okay, now let's continue d dx of x squared, what's the derivative of x squared with respect to x? It's just 2x. We bring down the exponent and subtract 1, so we get 2 times x to the power of 1. Now, this is going to be a little bit trickier, d dx of x times y, because we're going to need to use the power rule for this. So, what's the power rule again? Well, we're going to Take the derivative with respect to x of x, multiply that by y, and add x times d dx of y. So basically, the derivative of one times the other, plus this element times the derivative of the next. Hopefully that everyone's familiar with the power rule. Now, next, we have minus d dx of 9. Again, what is the derivative of any constant? It's actually just 0. So the derivative of the number 9 is just 0. And that's equal to 0. I didn't even really need to write this. Of course, minus 0. That won't change anything. And right now, we can keep going. I'm going to change colors just to because otherwise it's going to look too monotonous or monochromatic, I guess. Um, the derivative of x with respect to x is just 1. Hopefully that makes sense to everyone. And we're multiplying that just by y. So 1 times y. That's what we got over there. Of course, I just copy the 2x down. Over here, we get x times d dx of y. Now, what is that going to be? That's just going to be dy dx, which is actually what we're looking for, which is just basically the derivative of the relation with respect to x. And how did I get this? Well, remember that we're differentiating with respect to x, but that's a y. So we need to split up the ddx into d dy of y times dy dx, because note that these guys are just going to disappear. So we get d dx. Right? So that's what we had before. And what does that mean? Is that, well, now we're differentiating with respect to y. So d dy of y is just 1, because the derivative with respect to y of just y is 1. And we're multiplying that by dy, dy dx, which is ultimately what we want. In prime notation, that's just y prime, by the way. Okay, that's equal to 0. So now what do we need to do? Well, we need to have dy dx. On this, on the left-hand side of the equation, everything else on the other side. So it will subtract 2x as well as a y from both sides. So I end up with these guys cancel out, right? So I get x times dy dx equals 0 minus 2x, so the negative 2x, 0 minus y, just minus y, negative 2x minus y. Then, of course, we want to isolate dy dx. So I can just divide both sides of the equation by whatever dy dx is multiplying, in this case, just an x. So they cancel out over here. 
and we end up with dy dx equals negative 2x minus y over x. I guess we can split this up, can't we? Yes, we can. Negative 2x divided by x is just negative 2. Negative y divided by x is just negative y over x. Voila, dy dx is equal to negative 2 minus y over x. That's it. Now for more questions and videos, check out our website. And good luck.